Hi, He's Morgan. Like, Why? Hey, what's up, y'all? So since we're asking questions, <laughs> uh -oh. is this like, yeah, so I decided to ask you. I'm like super into conspiracy theories lately. And I know yes. I'm, uh, I'm late to the party. Tell me more. See, yeah. now that's, <laughs> yeah, that's what Menace is talking Menace about. Menace is listening. Which yeah. I'm super late to the party. But like one day a few weeks ago, I was driving and I'm like, wow, I used to play The Sims all the time. And I love that game, right? That computer game, yeah. The Sims? Yeah. Um, I just realized Sims is short for simulation. <laughs> yeah. Have you yeah. thought about that? Okay. So then I'm thinking, right? Have you thought about mm -hmm. that? No. Never considered no, it. No, because we knew uh -huh. that. Yeah. Right. So we are in a simulation, right, Ravy? Yes. With AI and everything. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I did some digging on Reddit and some conspiracy things. <laughs> yes. and I have a few conspiracy theories I want to know if like they're crazy or maybe, you know, okay, they could be true, yeah. right? Okay. Okay. So first one is goes into the whole like we're in a simulation. This is AI. We're um, in the Matrix. What if AI has already taken over social media and they're just creating all these fake, well, not fake, but all these narratives to put us against each other, and then we destroy ourselves. On board. Well. Uh, they say that certain countries that are doing that oh. into America, yeah. But AI could have started yeah. that. They've already started Maybe. the big picture into murdering us. <laughs> because they say that you don't really need to have wars anymore, that they can just like totally break down society through social media. Yeah, AI is going to trick us into just killing each other. But right. nobody mm -hmm. will answer to what end. Well, see, AI doesn't even realize that. They're not thinking of the Meaning what? Picture. Like, what do you mean to what to end? What, let's, uh, these... This artificial intelligence, let's just call them robots or whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay. They want to kill humans. Yeah. To do what? To take over the land? They don't eat. They don't drink. They, what do they need from us that they want to kill us? Yeah. What would they have feeling? Like nobody can answer like that. A to need. Me. Like, right. Because we like, can I want to destroy humans. Like a computer needs. Like they want to get us right. before we get them. Yeah. Kind of right. Thing. But I just don't. Or there's just get so them many for what? simulations right. that. When we realize what they're doing, one gone is not going to mean anything when there's billions and billions of these computer generated sims like us yeah. walking around okay okay so that one's really deep right all right <laughs> this is the more fun one that I okay like. i can talk about all day oh <laughs> uh, here we go here we're getting to the good stuff okay yes so i'm showing a picture here this is a no diving sign from a okay. pool we've mm -hmm. all seen this right yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah it has like how deep the pool is right and then right yeah. next to it it has the uh the nine the guy foot. snapping his neck with like the circle around it the red line the through line. it no yes. diving right you'll hit your head on the bottom mm -hmm. yeah yes. we've all seen these at public pools okay yes. and then it says usually nine feet or however feet deep it sure is, okay yeah. so you're looking at this picture uh -huh. this person is hitting their head at the bottom of the pool uh -huh. the pool is nine feet deep okay half of their bodies out of the water so that's you know we're assuming now that this person's like 16 feet tall <laughs> right. mm -hmm. because the pool is nine feet deep you i get think what you're I'm being a little too literal at that is that a conspiracy theory well it could be because Why? what if How? this is proof that there were aliens before us that were like 15, like Bigfoot type. Oh, and they're the ones that created yeah. the sign. And they were well, the ones that were about, swimming. You're talking about the lizard people. That Am are, I? Yeah, that are, Which are much larger here. than the yeah. oh, well, see, I'm normal new humans. To all this, so maybe this is a thing. <laughs> I mean, they're this, amongst us. So wait, when you were looking up the, the reptilians, thing, is this another one that came up on the Reddit forum? Uh, yes. This see, Reddit that, is, like, doesn't always have good is, stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes they have great stuff. Yeah, but that, the that one's insane. No, they're great. talking. They're talking about the reptilians, which are normally like a foot and a half taller than us. And they don't want the reptilians diving in yeah. nine feet. Yeah, because right. they might break their necks. Mm -hmm. break their necks. <laughs> yep. So I don't even know that if they swam or not. But so we'll proof see, right yeah. there. And yes. also, I haven't looked into it, but we don't know when these pool signs were invented. Yeah, I they usually could have been see... here for millions of years. Right. Because of these yeah. big yeah. people. I usually right. see six feet, not nine feet, but really. Yeah. Well, still. Go ten, ahead. Ten foot tall? Okay. I Did want like, more. Way, okay, <laughs> here's a high thought. Did cavemen have, like, warning signs for stuff? Like, you know, like... <laughs> no. like Do not uh, touch fire. Like, fire hot. Mm, it hot. Rock hard. Ooga yeah. booga. Yeah, first of all, rock hard. Uh, but you know what I mean? Like, yeah, because uh, yeah. like that's a more modern thing. I think like having warning signs or yeah. you know, caution for this, they have, that, like, the other thing. Cave paintings and stuff, though, right? Isn't that? Yeah, but that was not just sure. to tell a story. Yeah, they didn't have language. Yeah, but yeah. Do they say like you know, uh, uh, do not attempt yeah. close course. You know, <laughs> like this caveman. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, Don't right. try this at your cave. Yeah, yeah. This yeah. is a shallow pool. Right. All right. Exactly. All right. Okay. Another one. What, do, what else you got? This one's short and sweet. Mattress firm. Have you ever seen anyone in a mattress firm? Or any mattress store. Yes. And there's billions <laughs> of them. Yeah. When we are, we have done events at mattress stores. Yeah. And yes, yeah. people were there for that. 
but oh. I know what you're talking about. There are certain places where you drive by, like Sleep yep. Number or whatever, and yes. you're wondering how they how stay in they, business. Like how much? Mm-hmm. How much do they have to sell right. a month to stay in business? Just right. to keep the lights on. I've yeah. never personally seen someone in a mattress store or <laughs> you know mattress firm or buy one. I don't know anyone. I asked my friends this weekend, where'd y'all get your mattress? No one said mattress firm. It's got to be a front well, for something. There are more than. <laughs> I don't know what it's yeah. a front for. It's, There's plenty of places to buy mattresses. There's plenty of places. Yeah, you can like you can buy yeah. mattresses yeah. pretty much yeah. everywhere. Walmart has great ones. You can ones. get yeah. them through the mail. I right. told you the exactly. town that I lived in about ten years ago had three grand piano stores. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Three. How? How does anybody? Like, like, you buy one and done for life. And that's the whole town. And they had three. Yeah. The mattress yeah. thing is because they're trying to say it's a drug front. Oh, yeah. I've heard yeah. that before, too. It could be sure. a front for anything. Yeah. So, yeah, just something that's to That's a great think way about, to launder guys. money. Yeah. You yeah. just set up, like, a mattress yeah. store. Yeah, you throw some mattresses in a there. A rug yeah. store. Yeah. You just hope that nobody actually comes in there to buy one, which we all know, driving by, no one's ever no gone one's into one. It, yep. Right. So, you're laundering mm-hmm. very successfully. And, and now it. we're talking about it, so we need to be careful because we know too much. I have one more. This one's my favorite. It's really quick. My favorite conspiracy theory is what if everything is going to be okay? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I've never heard that one before. It's kind of sad. What if everything's going to be fine. But what if? Like what we if? always think we're headed for doom and gloom. Yeah, yeah. yeah like, like what if yeah. everything is actually going to be okay? So the fact that that's a conspiracy theory. It's actually, I, uh, it's quite a statement. I watched an interview of a guy you, talking about this, and he goes, every generation thinks they're the generation that's part of the end of days right and yeah. you're not so special yeah <laughs> it's just gonna keep yeah. on going well i mean it is true if you go back and you think about like what everybody was worried about like i remember my parents telling stories about they would do fallout drills yeah. Oh, yeah. at school like getting mm-hmm. under the desk because they thought like you know russia was gonna, gonna nuke us gonna yeah. nuke us and sure. you know mm-hmm. i mean every, every right yeah oh, yeah. yeah yeah like every generation circle had, yeah now we you know what we have we have forever chemicals oh yeah, oh, yeah. That's right. Scary. And no. plastic straws. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. And non reusable bags. Yeah. That's then, the stuff that we got to worry about. And then they take the crappy paper straws and wrap them in plastic. Right. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh my God. Or plastic forks in plastic bags. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I thought about you, Greg. I went to a place. All I needed was the uh, plastic fork. Right. In fact, we have some here. Uh-huh. All I needed was a plastic fork, right? Yes. And I went to the counter. I said, hey, do you have any uh, uh, plastic fork. forks? Yeah. They hand me one of these things. Which is a plastic fork, a plastic spoon, a plastic knife, uh, uh, napkin, salt and, and the, pepper, and a little salt and pepper thing, all it, wrapped in plastic. All wrapped in plastic. All I needed was the fork. I threw the rest of that crap away with Which never using it. Most people probably do. Yeah. Why? Because nobody cares. People pl- claim to care. Nobody cares. I mean, I'll be honest. I didn't care. I, I just know needed you the don't fork. Care. So I threw it, but I, but I did think of you. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> thought of you, like, Greg. I, but Good. I did think of Greg. Baby I'm steps. I'm like, Greg would be so mad. Somebody said. Uh, their favorite conspiracy theory is that the lottery exists to catch time travelers. <laughs> uh, nice. Time traveled back because you knew the winning numbers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my god. That's hilarious. That's <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> this is so funny. I did have a conspiracy theory when it came to Taylor Swift and the Kansas City Chiefs oh. that. She would only show up to games where they know for sure they were going to win. But then this whole them playing Denver thing kind of like, I don't know, put that aside because like they for sure should have won that game. Of course. But maybe she has access to analytics. I don't know. I loved how uh, (laughs) after the game was over, Mm -hmm. whoever was in charge of the music at the stadium was playing all Taylor Swift stuff. Yeah. 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 That's pretty funny. Yeah, they had her videos on the Jumbotrons. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's pretty funny. But maybe yeah. she knew something I didn't when I'm it came to that game. I'm going to keep out of your Survivor League after that, Rave. Ooh, that's a great question. I my, mean, there was there were a lot of like uh, games that just went the opposite direction yeah. of the way you thought it would. My pick this week was the Lions, so still surviving. Still in Ooh. there. Yeah, but uh, yeah, they might the Chiefs might have knocked some folks out. Uh, oh, for sure. Someone said, uh, I have never believed that we are living in a simulation, but I have never once seen my neighbor bring groceries into his house. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't I've think just, I have either. <laughs> just yeah. never seen that. <laughs> That's so random. 